Hello, my name is Carl Segreja. This is a C++ project. Basically, what I did here uh, worked with uh, ordered list, ordered linked list. So I wrote the algorithm for insert uh, insert node, I believe. Uh, anyways, I'll, I'll show you what the the program does real quick. Uh, what it does is take two lists and merge them and uh, so I'll go ahead and I'm gonna mix some numbers up here like because uh, it's the ordered list so three one uh, two and I'll go ahead and and that list so as you can see I put three one two but list one comes out as one two three because it's an ordered list the way it inserts it it finds the uh, it basically checks to see if it, where to put it so I'll go over that code this is the insert node code basically why it's sorted like that so length of list 3 enter number 4 list 2 so I'll go ahead and enter um, uh, 7 uh, let's see 4 Six and five should do it. So one, two, three. So yeah, so I mixed it up, but it sorts it out the way it inserts it. It inserts it in order so that um, yeah. And there's four on that list and new list after merging list one and list two. So you can see all the merged. And that's it. Length of the list is seven. So that's it. I'm gonna show the code now. Basically, this is uh, data structures and algorithms that I took was taking when I did this. So uh, basically, that's all it is: writing algorithms and uh, stuff like that. Link list. This is the ordered link list. So I'll show the program, and then I'll I'll go over the uh, methods. So the, so the program basically we saw this uh, we have ordered linked list type and it takes integers so we have a new list we have a list one and list two basically list one was the one we entered the list two was the other one we entered and then the new list it merges list one and list two so you can see here keeps on taking the uh, whatever number I enter and pass it and then it insert node here and passes the number and insert node so that's kind of an important um, method there um, and that's pretty much it the insert node again for list 2 just keeps going inserting nodes creates the list 2 so here we go and then finally when it merges see this new list dot merge lists and takes both of those lists and then basically inserts all those values in this list so using the insert node method as well and that's gonna be it I'm gonna so I'll go over those methods and so this is the implementation I'm gonna go over here. Well, yeah, they're both on one file. So I'm gonna go to. I'm gonna show this one. I think this one's uh, much easier, and straightforward. So I'll take care of this one first. So basically, you just point it to traverse the list. Um, so current equals list dot one. I mean list one dot first. So that points. So it points it to the head of the first list, and then get the list out length, insert node, and then pass the value of that current node, and then current equals the next node, so this points to the next node, and then this just loops. So that's yeah, that's it, and then. Basically, all right. So 
this is insert node so this is because new list uh, this is where this information is getting uh, um, assigned to this new the new list so if I go back here right here new list this new list pass these two lists in so list one and list two so basically it just goes through list one points to the, the head and just goes through all of those nodes and inserts the information and then basically just does the same thing it just continues on for the with the second list and just keeps going on with the uh, new list and basically when that's done the new list is uh, has all these and then all these um, that's all it does and because using insert node it will sort it out no matter what so yeah I'll show I'm gonna show that now I don't think it's this one. This is delete node. So, all right. So I'll try to make this uh, uh, easy to follow if, as much as I can. <laughs> all right. So we have a current, we have a trail current, and we have a new node. The new node is going to be uh, basically the insert node. So uh, that's where we're going to insert the new item. So we got to find where the uh this item is going to go. So obviously if it's if it's an empty list, it will go it will be the first one. Um so we have this current and we have this trail current. So the trail current is always one node behind current. So that's why when we when we find out where it goes, we can um link this behind the new node and then the new node will point to the current so it will go in the middle there so yeah that's about as much as easy as I can make it <laughs> uh, so anyways we got a, a bool found new node equals new node type um, yeah so create the node I believe I showed that already. It's just a, a node type, it's just a struct uh, with a pointer link and that points to the memory and info that points to the actual value. So as you can see here, that's all that node, this node type is. It's just a struct. Um, so you can point to the info and you can point to the the link is, is the next uh, memory it points to. So <clears throat> not the not the um not its memory but the 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 memory it points to next on the link so um so basically we're gonna the new node info is gonna point to uh this uh is the value of the node and then the link will point to null so if first equals null which is first of uh, the list that's calling this method so if it does equal null then we'll s assign a new node to first and last equals new node and, and count increases so the or else if first is not null then current equals the first and then the trail current equals current and as you can see I, I just fixed an error because I didn't I must have not had this and was having uh was having uh trouble <laughs> obviously so yeah I had this comment here um so found equals false <coughs> and then uh, so current cannot equal null uh, if current points to info the info of this current node is greater or equal to new item so that basically that's how it checks so 
looks at the new item, then looks at the current. If if this info is greater or equal, and then found equals true, and or else uh, we go we take the current equals the trail current equals current, and then we'll move the current up one. So that's how that works. And then we'll go over here. So our current equals first new node uh, points to link uh, the next. So new node link will point to first, and then first equal point equals new node. So basically, just uh, we'll just loop around itself. Uh, <laughs> so yeah, if the if the new node link points to first and first equals new node, it's just going to point to itself. Um, and then you have this case where uh, trail current link points to the new node and then the new node link points to current. Like I was saying, it would just fit in the middle there. And then there's that case really. So if current equals null, last equals new node, and then increase the count, uh, total count. So, yeah, that's the insert node. Hopefully, this was helpful. I know this is very confusing at first. So, uh, yeah, thanks for watching.